And so our MVP as they smoke up here with the Tide and Juggernaut running into the enemy jungle. They have Witch Doctor yeah, with them. Look at Raging Potato's position. It's absolutely oh, no. perfect. Yeah, he triggers just... all three of them. Maybe not so perfect if he can't survive oh, this. Turn the other one. Tubu is going to burn. There goes your Ravage. The Shallow Grave is keeping Huskar alive for the moment until Shuriken Toss burns and he goes to the Immortal. Dubu also having the extra help from that healing ward. So he does repair a large portion of his damage. Now the Omni Slash bouncing around. Huskar isolated and brought down. You'll doom onto MP support, however. It's coming back in for MVP with the Spirit Chump. You're gonna find one, you're gonna find two. It's two for Ferev. Oh, and it's one just all going QR. MVP's way. So beautiful fight for them. Now Huskar being isolated, and now Doombringer's gonna go down as well. He cannot run away. Being cracked, you're not getting away from this now team. Now it just comes off cooldown. Now it's the middle feel is there, but in they go. The BKP's oh. there from Ben Herbert, the Doom over on Forever. He'll go down, he'll instantly fight back, so he's tank up the Doom. The Spirit jumps forward. Who gets the Aegis Immortal in the hands of the oh, Huskar? No. And now it's MVP in a world of Herder back into a three man wall. Maneski, they're all over him. Can they keep finding their openings? Raging Potato wants to go ham. 72 seconds without an Ember Spirit. They could actually go for a GG push here. Yeah, so All right, so MVP. All ulties are up right now. Same thing for Maneski, however. As uh, Raging Potato, there's your start. The Ravage gonna pop. Ben Hur already inside of his BKB. Raging Potato. Oh, so no, low. So they great. bring down the Huskar. The back back into the wall. Oh. MP still so low, but it's Maneski who have lost their primary source of fear, aka that Huskar front liner. Well, and that's the Doombringer is also gonna go down to MVP. That's Again, they're done able to stuff. find themselves the perfect Dying fight. Say goodbye to Cast. Never mind the art style self grave. That was an irrelevant one. This one was. Game losing possibly? And the bottom both being super. Last ditch effort, here uh, we go. Jump in, Jules again with that wall stomp. He does not have Doom available. And now Rage Potato, life breaks forward, but he doesn't find his own target. And they can just keep turning this one around. Everyone's starting to get tracked up in the death ward from Dubu with the Aghanim Scepter. Maneski, they're being torn apart right now. There's no way they can try to survive this. You can jump forward right there with Rage Potato, but Ferev right behind him, or maybe there is. Potato. It's on the power of the heart. Oscar, finally, is he actually going to have some power here? A triple kill, surge forward. He needs the detection over on Febby, which he does not oh. have. QO is coming to TP back. See the They're Ravage. going to defend this one. There it is. The Ravage will trigger the Omni Slash. Wait for it to bounce around for the back into a four man wall. Oh boy. It doesn't work, but Febby forced off the way. Dylan does the mommy this Ragey Potato. How much damage have you got? Can he do it? Minesky. Keep that toggle going. MP's going to drop forever. We'll join him as well. The buybacks are all coming out from MVP, but it's still Megas. Maneski have managed to force that much so far, but can they get out scot free? They still have all five heroes up. So and Ragey Potato wants to do more. The he only thing got lost over on the centaur. Raging Potato is underneath the tiered four towers now. They bring down the Tide Hunter. He doesn't exist. Maneski, you can be 27,000 net worth behind. You can be 35,000 experience in the re in arrears. The dream. Yeah, oh, this is the better dream. QO did go rabia. Oh, he's going to smoke up. They're coming down. Huskar again waiting on the other side of the tree. Smoke's gonna break, so they know he's there. And can they get the initiation off? There's your jump forward. The Ravage will pop, and the BKB still again being that protecting factor. Maybe so low, he's gonna take a fall. How much damage have you got? QO, the main source of damage, oh, still Mineski. isn't even there. You got a double kill right now for the DK. Raging Potato's gonna go even more ham. You burn the Aegis, the one over the Juggernaut. Perez's low, and now in comes QO. Wait for a slide of fist again. Raging Potato's so low, but MP, Wait, he's down. The triple kill! Where is the damage? It's still not there! They, the took, they took the fight before QO is ready to be there again. They've lost three. They have to go back. Will come. It's over on QO and Febby. The Ravage will hit perfectly too with a slat of fist. The heavy damage from QO! You can say goodbye to the Doombringer. Fuckerino as well, so low, but he goes for another big back. Can Ben Hur go down? Yep, there's two heroes down. QO still in good fighting condition. Raging Potato now isolated as well. Three heroes on the sidelines. It's about to be four. Cast will drop two. MVP. They will defend. They will hold the line. Their army is doing jack crap. Back at the <laughs> 
face. It's like how this game is currently being won, uh, which is MVP trying to push their own Megas right now. Jules will come in. That Hex is pretty quick as well. That's the one throwing out from Femi. Jules, he's down 72 seconds on the sideline. Huskar's back up in one second time, but buyback's available for everybody apart from Jules. But the Megas are now versus Megas. We have removed all six sets of racks from the field. That must be a first here at the Manila Major as well. It is most it definitely is not a, a common occurrence. <laughs> I bet. Uh, oh, they're track. Q warding. Q warding. Oh, cast! Just 17. Healing the two thirds of his life, but Perez is the late, late capitalized. Yeah, There's a straight jump in. Now, Rangy Potato. The back wall is going to go over on two. They have to do the damage with the death ward from Dubu. It's bouncing around. MP, he drops down low. Where's that side of it from Q warding with the searing chase? They keep Maneski locked on the hill with the coconut bouncing around. Oh, Blink Lager will take it away. The Satanic has already been triggered. Rangy Potato is down, but the buyback is available. The only one he does doesn't have it as a dazzle, but MVP will now smoke up. And where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Into the enemy base, let's go. That would be nice. No dazzle. Wait, Bloodthorn? No. Oh, they're also pinging out Roshan saying, hey, he's alive. But uh, I think you just go here if you MVP. They're pinging it. Yep. But there's no Ravage. Because no refresher forever. Febby runs very, very close. They run themselves out of two men back into a perfect stop. Forever's able to break free thanks to Kraken. And now it's MVP. They're on the run. They got the buyback out from the Husker. But they need to be able to escape oh, with the four star TP. They're able to do so. They actually managed to steal the gems as well. One of them put Febby, he's in trouble. Will he actually survive for this one? Where's the detection? It's there over on Jules. Febby, there's your Dragon Tail Blink Sun with the War Stomp. So down goes the Bounty Hunter. 103 seconds down, but the Megas, they're still hitting into the tier 4 tower. 800 gold for the Dazzle, 100 gold for the Dragonite, and he will have buyback. And once his Dragon Form is down, well, he's actually still got a decent amount to offer. And here we oh, go. DK's Dragon gone. Form up, the jump forward, they go over on QO, the Ravid as well, QO! He's able to get out by the nick of his spirit. He's away to safety. Femi, they're all over the back of him, trying to get rid of the Bounty Hunter as well, while QO's doing more damage. But Femi just triggers off the cheese. they got enough of that Dubu. He gets that ulti down to Rage of Potatoes on the sidelines. That's it's coming in. Up. It can finally be over. Jules is down. Two on the sidelines. Buybacks are not available for them. They're trying to retreat right now. Maneski can heal up. The paralyzing cast keeping Ben Hur away from MVP doing, are doing it. And they're actually going right now for the Radiant Ancient. They're going to finish the job they are gonna finally end this madness as MVP or will they yes they will they're locking in Boccarino there goes your DK buy him back why don't you you know you got it but no GG 71 minutes 42 seconds this madness is done GG well placed Cole Mineski are gonna kick in into the lower bracket but boy did they go fighting that was a crazy crazy oh. ass game they went down in style.